In this little section of episodes, I've been covering the toolbar, and in this episode specifically, I'm going to be covering the slip and slide tool. In a previous episode, I covered the ripple and roll tool, and these are kind of a different way of functioning in and out points with adjacent clips using your slip and slide tool. Probably the more common features is the ripple and roll tool. The slip and slide tool are used even less, but they're still, they still have a use. We've got some visual edits here, and actually, I'm just going to delete my audio on this just so to simplify things and explain what these tools are using used for because this gets a little confusing with audio especially if you have l cuts and j cuts involved so right here we've got this edit this visual edit it cuts from this wide shot to the medium and then to the reverse angle let me give you a definition of what the slip tool does the shortcut for that is y as you hit the letter y and right next to it is the letter u on your keyboard the y and u y does the slip tool u does the slide tool now what a slip does it basically trims a single clip's in and out point simultaneously while not affecting the adjacent clips. So if we grab this here, you'll note and start moving it to the left. What it brings up here, look up at my window here, my program monitor. The top left hand window here is basically the out point of the previous clip. As I drag this tool back and forth, that it does not affect the adjacent clips out point. And then the bottom left hand corner is this clip that I'm working with. It, it is its end point frame and to the right of that is its out point frame. As I drag this back and forth, noticing, notice it is trimming my end point and therefore trimming the out point as well. And notice the top right hand frame, that is standing still as well as I move this tool. That basically is showing that the adjacent clips are not being adjusted, but as I grab this clip and I drag it to the left, it's sliding basically this clip here, it's sliding its in point over and grabbing its out point and trimming it over at the same time. So this is used for sometimes matching as well as we're just kind of fine tuning and getting a clip without affecting the timing of the adjacent clips. Once again, not commonly used as commonly as the ripple and roll edits, but it is a helpful function that I, f I will use once in a while. Let's go to the slide tool. The slide tool basically is almost kind of the opposite of the slip tool. It basically leaves a single clips in and out point alone while affecting now the adjacent clips. So if I hit U and select the slide tool here and I click on a individual clip here, what it's going to do is it's going to do a change as I drag it left and right is going to be changing, is going to be leaving this clips in and out points the exact same while changing the in and out points of the adjacent clips. So as I grab this clip here, keep in mind the in and out point staying the same and I drag it to the left and I let go, it just ate into this one's out point and stretched this one's in point outwards to make up for that time. If I grab it and drag to the right, it does the opposite, stretched out that one's out point while eating into this one's in point and leaving these, leaving the in and out point of the clip that I've selected alone. Watch the thumbnails up as I do this, as I grab it and drag it, look up at these clips here. On the bottom left hand corner, I have the adjacent clip to the left. I have the clip to the left, its out point being affected, the adjacent clip to the left. As I drag it, and uh, right and left, you'll notice that it's changing there. And then the and then the bottom right hand window is actually the in point of the clip to the right. And notice those are both being changed. It's stretching the in and out point of each clip uh, of both those adjacent clips. I know they kind of look the same, but they are different clips. They're edits. One is uh, the out point of the previous clip and one is the end point of the next clip. And look at the two clips on top. That is the end point and the out point of the clip that I've selected. Notice those do not change at all, but it's showing you in case you need to use these for matching. And like I said, the slip and slide tool are less commonly used, but they are helpful in certain instances. Uh, in the next episode, I'm going to be covering the pen tool.